Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video, and we talk about a newly shown product from uh, Star Wars The Black Series. There's a new convention uh, happening, it's a Comic-Con convention overseas in Europe, um, and they're showing some new Black Series figures. And our first one here is going to be the Knight of Ren, um, which is quite exciting. I've been really hoping that they would do some, of, if not all, of the Knights of Ren in a Black Series form, um, and we have one at least, so that's uh, that's better than nothing for now, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, they did also show a, 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 the Zori Bliss figure, um, which I'll be making a separate video on. But talking about the Knight of Ren here, uh, overall I think that he looks great from what we can see right here. Um, this is, obviously they all have very different designs, which is the thing that I think would hold them back from doing all of them, just because you couldn't like reuse a lot of the parts. You know, you might be able to reuse the legs on some of them, depending on how much is covered and things like that, uh, but the overall general design would have to be quite different, uh, because obviously the, the clothes that they wear are different, the helmets are all completely completely different, and all of them have different weapons too, so they'd all have to be kind of original designs, which um, might hold back, uh, you know, Hasbro from making them all, um, but nonetheless, I hope that we get a few, I hope that we don't just get one, that would be disappointing, uh, but um, nonetheless, I am ex still excited to see this one. Overall, I think that it does look quite cool, I do like the silver that is on the faceplate there, maybe a little bit more like kind of weathering on the faceplate would have been nice, uh, these characters seem to have like weathering to them, and they did do, they did add some weathering on the figure, as you can see, especially towards the bottom of the legs, um, there's a lot of mud or dust or sand that's sprayed on uh, all over the legs which I think looks good and also on the, um, the the bottom of the skirt you can see it and then even uh, even up top with the chest you can see it a bit too and even the gun has some dirt on it which I think is quite nice so it is a little odd and it might just be these images but it certainly looks like he's He's weathered a fair amount, except for the helmet. The helmet looks like pristine, so I'm really hoping that in person maybe there's a little bit of weathering on the helmet there so that it fits in a little bit more with the, the whole figure itself, um, so it's not just so clean. Uh, this weapon, he does kind of have like almost a big hook, a big sickle type of a uh, weapon there, which is interesting. Overall, I think that it looks good. Um, it looks, I would have liked it to be a little bit sharper. It looks so flat that it actually doesn't look like much of a weapon. Uh, it's probably a safety issue, though, that they probably couldn't make it any sharper than that um, but personally it looks a little dull uh, like and you know you know obviously I know that the, f the figures aren't gonna have like sharp weapons but it just looks a little too dull uh, even for a figure in my opinion um, he comes with the blaster which does look good and can be holstered on his right hip there uh, as you can see quite nicely and overall I think that it looks like a really nice figure articulation looks like it's your standard black series articulation it looks like he has a 90 degree hinge on his elbow maybe even a little bit more more than that because especially with this shot here he's got a nice bend on that elbow there which is good especially when with a figure that has a weapon that he's kind of supposed to hold with two hands you need that extra elbow articulation so I'm happy about that but again overall I think this looks great I do hope that we get uh, you know I want two more Knights of Ren at least I, I would love the whole set but just two more would really make me happy um, so I am hoping that we will uh, we'll get a couple more Knights of Ren figures. It would be really cool if they came out with a three pack of just three new Knights of Ren. That would be that would be awesome. Even what they could do just to squeeze a little bit more money out of you uh, is do a four pack and just have Kylo Ren be one of the figures just just to repack. Um, I'd be okay with that. Whatever it takes to kind of get the other Knights of Ren uh, are is worth it for me personally. So I'm very much hoping that we do get the uh, uh, the whole team or at least a few more of the team. Um, but nonetheless, I'm definitely going to be picking up this one. Uh, it's expected to go on pre-order tomorrow, being the 28th, so uh, we'll kind of get some more uh, information about its release date, but hopefully it comes out before the new movie. Um, I'd, I'd prefer to get at least one Knights of Ren uh, figure before the new movie. Uh, but yeah, overall, really do like the look of the figure. Very excited for this one, and stay tuned for my video on uh, the Zori Bliss figure. And thanks so much for watching.